And the nominees for Best Actor in a Podcast are Paul Giamatti's Left Eye. Here he is. There he is. Up, chewing away. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sleepy Joe Biden. Up there. Up. There he is. Uh, both eyes. Oh, now they're both awake this time. Up oh, and... Oh. And coming up right after that is Ryan Quigley. <laughs> Not sure what's happening over there with that poor fellow. <laughs> Who's the Oscar go to? Who's the Oscar go to? And the Oscar goes to Ryan Quigley from the Bells and Whistles podcast. Whoa! Give a speech. Give a speech. I, I, I would like this bit to end. <laughs> and on this episode of Bells and Whistles podcast, we talk about the Oscars. And then we go and we play around a pokey doka. We understand that they were too long ago. And we didn't feel what like doing anything else. Do? All that much, much more in this episode on a Bells and Whistles podcast. Run that intro. If you'd let me keep going, I was going to have you do the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. Best of both worlds, huh? Look at this. Take your time now. This is a little not to worry about. It started too high up. <sighs> too high up. You, you flew too close to the sun. Look at this, huh? Yeah. Go ahead. We'll finish it. Just let it rock. Come on. Just you gotta accept yourself. That's the important bit. This joke probably stands for itself, right? We don't need any. Yeah. No. Hi. Just welcome. Look. Welcome to the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bells and Whistles podcast. Ryan Quigley, Eve from Bernie, Bernie. live from the red carpet. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> the Oscars has happened. And you know, wow. uh, of course, it's a happy Wednesday morning. Uh -huh. um, the perfect amount of time has passed so that nobody cares about the Oscars anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, and but guess we'll what? We'll talk about it. You know what else nobody cares about? What? This podcast. Yeah! So, so we're going to talk about the Oscars, and uh, we'll play Poki Doku for all the Pokemon fans in a bit, but this yeah. is not going to be a Pokemon-heavy podcast. No. We're not going to say which Pokemon is Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> we're not, not going to do that to anybody. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna I, was kinda, I, was ready, I was ready for Mr. Rod. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we both had very rough weeks. <laughs> Very rough, long weeks. So what we're going to do is we don't care about Pokemon this week. We're going to talk, about, talk the about the Oscars. And we're going to bullshit for a bit. Yeah. I'm not fe I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> I know. I'm worried you're going to spread to me. I, I almost certainly will. So we're going to talk about the Oscars and then we'll uh -huh. play Pokey Doku. If you want a Pokemon stuff, just skip the Pokey Doku. In a, in a, it'll be a little fucking button down there. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -da. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> On earth? What in God's... That's where, that, where I put this? Ha. That's where the button is. Okay. It's down below. It's down below. Don't worry. I don't know if it's going to be there. It's down. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be there. Hold on. I'm gonna, I don't like this spoon. I'm taking this spoon out. We've got a story. We've got, there's a lot of entertainment news out there, isn't there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I mean, yeah, I'm on edge this week. Uh-huh. Um, there's a lot of news going around. There's yeah. stories to behold. How are you? I'm okay. I finished this. Uh, you'll you'll see me now. I'm I'm back on the market. I'm an unemployed man. Fun employed. Uh, fun employed, huh? I'm running yeah. around, looking around for like whatever kind of you know mischief. Odd I can, jobs. Yeah, odd jobs. Doodads. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Gadgets, <and> <laughs> Gadgets and gizmos. Who's it's and what's it's galore. <laughs> Uh, no, no the show you finished, finished up Jonah. We finished up Jonah. At the roundabout. At roundabout, the Laura Pels. Yes. I always hated her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who she is, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't think much of anybody yeah, knows no, it's who Laura Pels is. Hey, uh, Laura Pels. Laura Pels. If Shout out come Laura Pels. Shout out Laura Pels. Yeah. Um, no, we finished it up there. It was a great run. It was very, it, I was very sad to see it go. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to not be an understudy anymore i think it's time to it's not a it. it's not a fun job it's not a very fun job it's not a fun job. no it was fun to do it with these folks but i it's yeah. it's just a lot of sitting around yes. so but i was lucky enough i got to go on thank you everybody that came to see me um i know all of our fans <laughs> <What was laughs> that? i want to get a slow-mo of you <laughs> looking over at me <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> thanks to everyone who came to see me <laughs> <That's> <laughs> 
That's what you did. <laughs> I could not make it. I was out of town. That's okay. That's okay. I was out of town on another job that I don't know if I could talk about or not. No. Well, you're you were filming know. something else. I was filming, you were a, filming thing. a little thing. But That's... it's good that you couldn't come because you would have seen my butt. My oh, butt was out. In this did play. any? Did you get any good notes on your butt? Nobody said much. Except good old Katie Puschel. What Katie did she Puschel say? said. Did she say something? What? When I I wrote I wrote her and I said you know just so you know when you're coming to see this uh, you you know it's uh, my butt is out of this and she okay. said oh I didn't know we were getting a show. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Katie Puschel. Good um, job, Katie. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, but nobody said anything about your butt. Nobody said oh well done. Nobody said well done. No. Well, what a strange thing <laughs> <laughs> that would have said. <laughs> That's what I would have thought. I would have said all oh, the well part. Done. Where you're, the part. What you, Always good to see you on stage. What's your favorite uh, word to call, uh, alternative word to uh, call about uh, butt? Rump. Rump? <laughs> yeah, rump. Mine is tush. <laughs> tush. <laughs> dairy air. I was going to say dairy air too. <laughs> dairy air. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, I don't I think there's, we've got lots of good opportunities here. <laughs> did you get, did your, did your girlfriend tell you that she texted me a list of funny sayings that her dad told yes, her? Yes, yes, yes. About this is, you? This is, uh, Rebecca's dad has an idea for a play that he wants me to be in. Right. Where it would be, um, I, I'm trying to bring back old fa- old timey sayings. Yeah, and, like and I said that so you. He, he, I already you say frequent, a fair it, amount of that, isn't it? Like things like uh, okie dokie. Just and, really quick, uh, just go through the list really quick. Yeah. Gosh darn it, Jiminy Cricket, for Pete's sake, golly gee, criminy, holy cow, good grief, gee whiz, rats, swell. I say I say uh, a good holy portion. cow a fair amount. Do you, you really you throw around holy cow a lot? Not with you because we're swearing, but like if okay. I if I'm teaching or something like that, I'll do a lot of holy cow. I want to incorporate holy smokes. I want to bring smokes. back holy smokes. Yeah, that's, I want to do that. That's big. Did, rats. Did, did I she, like. Did she tell you? I say rats. I rats think rats is funny. Did she yeah. tell you what I responded? What did you say? I said, "Don't let him get a hold of criminy." <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's <laughs> forgotten that one. <laughs> well, you remember you remember um, El- Elton Tube's old catchphrase that I was going to try and put in later episodes. What was this? He was going to say, criminy cripes put me in stripes. <laughs> That's right. I do remember that. I do remember that. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, you know, I'm already I'm already halfway there to that. Yeah. I'm at a point. So, yeah, maybe you I'll sure be a little are. wordsman salesman. Right. Um, but I wanted to tell I wanted to tell you because there's a lot of going there's a lot going on in the industry right now. Yes. Um, if you don't know, there's some big there's a three a three talent agency has kind of crumbled into the nether and a lot of folks like us are looking for actors none of us we weren't with them to begin with yeah they rejected me (laughs) yeah but a friend of mine was telling me because he was going and looking and taking meetings with new agents right right? and he told me that this i thought this this kind of was it was the kind of story that I like. I thought would really get to you. To me, yeah, okay. Because he was taking a meeting with um, a talent agency, and if you if you don't know, there's like a- agents are kind of actors will go to agencies and the their quote unquote kind of you're supposed to hire them. They they work for you. But a lot of the time, they will deny you. Is the Ab- thing like yeah. they are the, 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 the ones with the power? Oftentimes, it, in the it, scenario. it very rarely feels like they are a person working for you. Yeah, it, exactly. That's not how it usually goes. Yeah. So we were. Um, so he was telling me that he went into this agency, and it was about it was him in a room with maybe five other agents right. sitting around in a table, sitting around a table, and they were talking. And he was saying he was like, you know, like. I didn't like that they were making me feel small. They were making me oh, feel like I was, a, you know, that I was nothing. Uh, like I was, uh, you know, that they were making me feel like I wasn't in charge of this. Oh, no. So <laughs> they asked and they were saying all this stuff. And agents are almost, I, I, we've, we've had some luck, or at least I've had some luck. I, I tend to like the agents that I'm with. But a lot of the times agents are, are kind of cold. They can be. I, I, yeah. I'll be the first to tell you. Yeah. Agents are, are very seldom nice to me. Yeah. No, they're not. <laughs> a lot of the times they're not very nice at all. Um, yeah. So they, he was in the room and they were kind of interviewing him and stuff like that. And at the end of it, they asked him, they said, okay, well, what do you think? You know, what do you think of us? What, how do you think this meeting went? What do you think? And he said, I feel like this room and the, and the people in it are all very cold. Oh, yeah. he's going to have a long life. 
<laughs> he's gonna have a real. He's gonna have a tough time. Yeah. Dude. He was like, I feel like oh, <laughs> they're like they're all boy. <laughs> like it's all all very cold, and everybody. He, and he said they all got very quiet. And then the head agent who was there, who was the yeah. one doing most of the speaking, said, "Look, what I liked about you before, what initially attracted us to working with you, is that I think that you're a grower, and I think that you not a show, not a shower. I think that you're a grower, and I think you." You mature and experience acting very quickly, and you become an, uh, you constantly uh, grow and become a very exciting actor. So what I'd like to do is that we take a step back and we watch you for a year, and we see what you know. We see what kind of person you are, and after a year, I'd like to bring you back here and I ask you why you just said that. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's a badass fucking yeah. mob boss yeah. move. That's really fucking cool. That's actually awesome. Yeah. That wow. Yeah. Wow. That's hard, man. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> because very quick, like I just want to clear things up for anybody who who is not an actor or anything in the business. Yeah. The reason that I reacted the way I did mm -hmm. to the person saying. Yeah. Everybody in the room is cold. Yeah. It's not because you're not allowed to feel that. Yeah. It's just that there is there is absolutely zero good that can come from sit telling your agent that. Yeah. There is no there is no um there's no especially when you don't when you haven't brought anything to an agency quite yet. Yeah, yeah. There is zero positive. Yeah. To making them feel bad or pissing them off. Yeah. Like they, it can only do you harm. Yeah. Well, so, he, you know, he was in. So that's a really stupid it was a, thing. And, to do. And, and he afterwards was like, I think I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but yeah. he, he's going to be fine because he's now going with a different agency. Okay. Well, so well done. Gonna, yeah. Good so he, 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 it's the kind of thing where you, it's what we fantasize about, where we have right. options, you know? Right. And you can go and we've already got somebody who wants to buy our stuff. And yes. somebody else is like, yeah, we'd like to do that. I'm like, yeah, well, how much? Would you <laughs> I'd, like I'd like you to kiss my ass, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Speaking of fantasies, yeah, can I tell you about a fantasy I had? Yeah, because like you, I was watching the Oscars, right? And yeah, you, everybody, you, you you're watching. You can't help but dream about you know your Oscar acceptance. Yeah, exactly. And everybody's done that. That's boring. Yeah, I'll tell you about what I had. What's your? Because I figure I figure you and I, we we both have long illustrious careers I in the industry. Think so, so I'm if picturing you take this podcast, this channel for proof. I'm 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 picturing us when we're like 78. Yeah, I'm thinking you have five Oscars. And I have seven. Just, yeah, just <laughs> good. Don't take that the wrong way. No, that's just the way. I'll, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> right. And, and I and I picture it's it's uh you know they're they're honoring you with you know the whatever Mark Twain in memoriam. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, they're honoring you with the mark the big award the yeah, big what's yeah. his nuts uh you yeah, know, super yeah, the, award. Yeah, the, so you're front and center and you're old. Yeah. I imagine you have Larry David's haircut. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> and they, and it's been it's been it's been maybe 17 years since I've been seen in Hollywood. <laughs> And you know they they they've now preserved uh, yeah. some combination of Jimmy Cri Jimmy uh, Kimmel and Billy Crystal <laughs> in some gorilla body, yeah. right? Yeah. And he goes he goes right, now to to honor uh, Ephraim Bernie, uh, we have a guest that needs no introduction. Oh, good. And they press a button, and it's me. I come down from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, I'm feeble. I'm 300 pounds, morbidly obese. <laughs> Crowd erupts. <laughs> Everybody roars, yeah! and I have a cane, and I'm like, like it's a scene from Willy Wonka, and yeah. I just hobble. Everybody's on their feet. Ah, whatever. I, nobody's seen me in years. I hop up to the mic, and I'm trying to figure out what my opening joke. Will yeah. Be. And this is what I have so far. What's yours? I look around. I say, "Can you tell I'm running out of money?" <laughs> And then, of course, you give a nice big speech. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that was my fantasy. I think that's an amazing fantasy. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't feel like they would ever do Imagine if they did that now. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro comes from the ceiling. <laughs> or they shoot him up like they do with Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> he comes out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he sent him too high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what I think. I, I, and, I, and I hope we play this clip. Yeah, I hope they do. In the background, vertical. <laughs> <laughs> Kneels there by your side. <laughs> Kneels there by my side. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Neil. Neil is still like 19 years old. <laughs> yeah. Neil has not aged at all. <laughs> Neil's aged beautifully. Yeah. Um. So, sh- how do you want to go through all the uh, the Oscar stuff? How do, you, think, do you have structure? Uh, so do you want to lead the conversation? Here's what I think we should do. Okay. Um. Because the the Oscars, for the most part, I think went kind of according to plan for everybody. Right. Yeah. Like, it was it a wasn't big really snooze. a surprise. But I I do want to talk about because you put the effort into watching all of the movies. I watched for, eight of them. I didn't eight, watch Zone yeah. of Interest or Past Lives. You didn't so watch, those but I your... watched Past Lives, so I can. Talk right. About okay. Them. Okay. Um. I didn't watch Zone of Interest, but I know. I know enough. Enough. Um, and I feel Do like you know so, Kenoff. So we're gonna skip over Barbie. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So we're gonna, you know, I feel like let's just kind of quickly i don't see Go why we can't them? talk about all you know all of them do you want to do you have an order that you want to do you want to lead off with barbie Emma stone because maybe she didn't she's the big upset was she um, a big upset she wasn't really the big upset i thought she was probably the best one um that's not what you said before we turned the camera <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <shit. laughs> uh so, can we get the big one out of the way you want to start with barbie because yeah, i didn't get a chance because we talk talked about, about barbie, barbie months and months ago let's talk about Babby. barbie barbie I didn't understand why it was Bambi. nominated. I, I had all right. I, I I had a lot of fun watching Barbie. Yeah, pretty movie to watch. Mm-hmm. Cool concept. Mm-hmm. Silly. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Vibrant. Of course. Sexy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well you've got me there. <laughs> but <laughs> but I don't know why it was nominated for an Oscar. I don't know if it was this big. I think that's what these these things have become now. Well, it's a big, it's uh, kind of like the Grammys, where it's I like see. it's not really the best song, but it's the one you heard the most. Oh, here, it? yeah, okay. you know. All right. So it's kind I didn't of... know that was the grand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. I, I thought it was a lot of fun. I just don't know if it deserved all the things. I certainly don't think... I, Ryan Gosling was awesome. Yeah. I don't know if he should be up for... I, I think that's a little crazy. I told you they should have nominated the dog. <laughs> the dog The dog from Anatomy of a Fall. Dessert should have been totally over Ryan Gosling. Like, Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. One of the best... But we're not talking about it. No, we're going to get to that in a minute. Um... I'll give you one guess as to what I what my my favorite part of Barbie was. It's got to be uh, Will Ferrell, don't you think? No, no, no. I don't care about that. Oh, you don't? I thought he was really funny. Yeah, sure, he was funny, but he was Will Ferrell. I'll take Will Ferrell any day of the year. But um, we'll talk about okay, the, let's see. Let me think. My f- parts, your, things, uh, shit that I like. Okay, um, that probably what Michael part. Sarah beating everybody up on the side of the road. No, but I did like that. Okay, good. No. Um, I'm trying to think of what would make you, like, you and me laugh that maybe other people wouldn't laugh at. No, I don't think this part made you laugh. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Um, was it when she finds old, uh, what's her name, in the kitchen? She's a ghost or oh, whatever? No, I didn't yeah. care about that. No. What is it? I love when all the kids got together and played Push by Matchbox 20. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I will. Well, I will. That was, oh my God. That was, because I, because I do that shit. Uh, there you go. Well, sure. I love that part. Yeah. Uh, I wish they performed the uh, push by Matchbox 20 instead oh, of I Am Can. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. His name, the name of the song is I Am Can. Whatever the fuck that is. I am, yeah. you know. <laughs> is I'm just Can. Oh, names yeah. Can. Uh, yeah. Names Can. Nice yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think there's a lot, of, there's a lot of people online that will say things like Barbie deserves best picture because it's a it's a beautiful movie and it's got tons of layers i don't really think it's got lots of layers i think it's i think it's a great i think it's really good at what it does but i uh, it's also doesn't it to me and this was my thing that i said originally i was like it doesn't feel like the people that i'm sure greta gerwig wanted to make this movie more like this but i feel like everybody who was a money power person was like put more Ryan Gosling in it and less anything to do with Margot Robbie in it. Yeah. I, I feel like I she had, totally get that. I feel like she had no I, I don't know if she changed. I guess she did because she became human at the end. Or sorry to spoil Barbie for uh, you. Yeah, right? guys, come yeah. on. Um, Watch it on Max. But it, it felt like, to me, it felt like a movie that was scared to be about Barbie. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't necessarily disagree, but also there's just part, and perhaps I'm, I'm you know, some... Uh, uh, fragile masculinity pig uh-huh. or whatever but i just don't think that it's a movie that requires that much opining no like i just i don't like it's i I, I like i feel like yeah, yeah. I, I, my response to the movie was yeah what a fun movie fun you know fine and if somebody has a criticism like that i say yeah fine yeah i'm hungry like to me <laughs> i thought yeah i think barbie princess and the popper is a better barbie movie <laughs> was america, you can fight me on that was america ferrera nominated 
No, people were upset that she wasn't. But I, I am yeah, also, I'm I, like, okay, there. Yeah, people worked really hard this year as actresses, and America Ferrera I'm is great. You. Yeah. She's great. I don't know. I, I just don't think she had enough to do in this. She yeah, had that one speech, so. and yeah, that big, was, you which know, was a little long. <laughs> Look, we're not I'm the kidding. One. We're not the speech. ones to say anything about that. It was a that. great. Speech. It was a little long though. <laughs> it was, there, were, there were cuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there were cuts. Uh, yeah, no, I, but yeah, but that's, that's Barbie, that's Babby in a nutshell for you. Who, is there one you want to talk about? Cause um, I, 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 I let's have. Let's talk about, if we're going to talk about Babby, let's talk about Op Oppenheimy. Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go first because yours is the controversial opinion. I think Oppenheimer is, we all knew it was going to win. Um, and it did. Um, and that's great. I feel like having spent some time away from it, I wonder how necessary, a lot of that Robert Downey Jr. stuff was. Um, I mean, he just won, so I, I, a lot of people think that it was, I guess, probably pretty good, huh? <laughs> but um, I, I don't know. I, it's, I, I was, I wanted to know about Oppenheimer, and I feel like it. Did you? Well, sure, I did. Okay, sure, I did. I wanted to know about him. I, I think it's funny how the, he has sex and he says, "I am death." Um, destroyer of worlds. I think that's funny. <laughs> you stole that one. Yeah, I stole, I stole, I've used that my, one. That's my move now. <laughs> um, I think it's funny that she comes back and she's having sex with him at the table. <laughs> he's getting interviewed. Yeah, he's getting interviewed. A lot of people were like, "That's wrong that they made her do that." I oh. think that I, I do think that's funny. I don't think it's I, it's probably not right. <laughs> you know what I was thinking through that whole scene? Yeah, is that uh, the poor Killian Murphy's got his naked butt on that wooden chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Some poor props person has to wipe that. Yeah, he's got his still Killian Murphy's fucking yeah. makeup little butt, butt print. Butt. Oh. He's a lot. Yeah, I feel like either he. I can't tell you how old he is. <laughs> he's either, I don't know. I don't know if he's, he's like either a rough thirty-two or, or an like, amazing sixty-one. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you what his age is. Yeah, but, I can't tell either. But uh, he's great. He's really great in it. Um, it's it's one of those movies that it's like this is. So dedicated to the realism of it, and so you know, and so um, like well done that it, it it almost feels a little bit like I'm watching, I'm just hanging out with a scientist for three hours, yeah. Which is great if you like a scientist, you know. And I really look, it's I, I I it's got all the laurels I can give it. You don't like it at all, Killian Murphy. I bow down to you. I think you're a tremendous actor. Yes, Christopher Nolan. I think you're a tremendous director. I'd hope to work with you someday. Mm. Dark Knight. Oh my God. Bow, bow down. Bow. Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. I bow what down. A, an amazing Blunt, cameo. Uh, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh -huh. Even I loved Iron Man. Uh <laughs> Bow down to you. Bow down to you. Bow down to you. Hey, I'm a big fan. Big David Crummel. David Crummel. David Crummel. David Crummel. Well, sorry about who I, that. Who man. I destroy. <laughs> who I happen. Oh, who I just so happen to destroy. In the New York 48 hour film project. I hope he gets to watch though, this. Yeah. Though, yeah. I bow down to you. I bow, I bow down we to bow you. down to you. Bow David. Down David we it's hope that you're guy. okay. I, I, I think he's lovely. Josh Peck. <laughs> <laughs> All in. It was a beautiful production. Mm -hmm. I don't give a single fuck. <laughs> fuck with, a ca with 17 capital F's <laughs> about Oppenheimer. I don't give a shit about Oppie. I don't care. I don't know. Oh. I don't. I don't. I didn't know who Oppenheimer was before this thing. The thing is, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I take it's really a me problem. No, because, no, no. It is. No. It is. no. Let me just let me take it. Let me take it because. I'm I, I I'm a stupid guy, and I have to deal with the ramifications <laughs> of that for the rest of my life. No, and I understand. No. I understand. I totally, a hundred percent understand. It's all my fault. All that said, he's got a little I, boring guy. When, when when it's when it's a, when you're telling me that this is the best film of the year, I think a stupid guy should be able to appreciate it. <laughs> and although I can say that it was made beautifully, that movie was uh, disorienting. <laughs> I didn't know. Who who was who? I didn't, I didn't know what the arguments between the scientists were about. I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I didn't know what part, like what Wasn't part there... of. I didn't know what part of fucking time we were yeah, in. No, it's we were true. going back and forth. There would be part of uh, part of it would be black and white. I don't know if it's modern day or whatever. And then three quarters of the way through the movie, we see them setting up the table that they've been talking at for two hours. And can I yeah, tell you yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Can I give you my biggest, my yeah, biggest, I, this big? is really my, my, this is really my problem. Yeah, what is it? I don't really know what communism is. <laughs> I don't really know what it is. And I certainly don't care. <laughs> I certainly don't care that 
he was one. So, and that's, I know that it's a big deal, but every time they'd be like, you know, Killian Murphy, he might be a communist. Mm. Everyone, <gasps> oh no. <laughs> and I go, Okay. 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 So I don't know. It was too long. The best part was Albert Einstein, and he wasn't in it enough. Yeah. <laughs> didn't you, but didn't you like didn't when he came out like from behind that. the taxi? Yeah, that was all great. Yeah. I couldn't wait for that movie. It took me three tries to watch that movie. Mm -hmm. I hated every second of it, yeah, and tough. I'm sorry. No, it's. Good. I did. That's just if you were to design a movie that wasn't for me, that would be it. Yeah. I'm sure it's a great movie, and if it's your favorite, I'm sorry, but Oppenheimer. <laughs> Ploppenheimer. <laughs> How good long were you worried on that one? Good Christ. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I think we don't have to say anything else about Oppenheimer. Oh, I hated Oppenheimer. It, it's, been, it's, it's laurels have been sung enough. Yeah. Um, let's quickly, uh, I think the next one to talk about would be Poor Things. Oh, Poor Things. Because that is one that you like. I did I, love I, it. It was the things. other, it was the other hero of the night. Right? I love me some Poor Things. Uh -huh. You know me, a, a movie can very easily be too weird yes. for me. And Poor Things towed that line sort of beautifully for yes. me. It was, it just pushed me to my edge of ah yeah. so it reminded me of it was the same level of weird as everything everywhere all at once yeah i was like ah, i don't like this i went to catholic school yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and but it it it, it, it was enough emma Ro emma stone i keep calling her emma roberts emma roberts emma stone a pretty was a woman wasn't in pretty thing <laughs> <laughs> Emma Stone was an incredible amount of silly for me, just yeah. the right amount. Yeah. I thought her performance was near flawless, and I thought it was, uh, and again, at the at the risk of being snooty and too, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's it called? What was Picasso? Um, what was it? Pretentious. Pretentious or, you know, abstract. interpretive, interpre yeah, abstract, uh -huh. whatever. I, I, I think it was sort of a beautiful uh, allegory for, you know, uh, stumbling through life yeah. as a person who doesn't know too much. And I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I love You felt represented. I did. Your baby's uh, can, brain was in your head. <laughs> can I tell you, though? Yeah. Gerard Carmichael was awful. <laughs> Oh my God, he, he was, was so terrible. bad. Gerard he was so Car bad. He was like almost. And I, I love Gerard Carmichael. I love Gerard usually. Carmichael too. But he was somebody needed to t grab. His I son. couldn't the believe fuck that. I was, I was shocked. Why was? Why did they do that to him? What? Well, like, who? if someone is that bad in a movie, it's not their fault. Yeah, anymore. yeah. No, somebody was like. Like it was, it it felt as though Yorgo Slanthimos or whatever played a little joke on him yeah. and was like, "Here, just run the lines with her, and yeah. I'll we'll film it." And I didn't know what was, <laughs> yeah, was yeah, done. you know, I that was not somebody should have stepped in front of that. That was, I, I feel, I feel every bad. and it, it, everyone else was... is like pretty good most of the time. I think I haven't seen, I don't think I've ever seen him act before, but I think well, he's a great he's, comedian. He's a great comedian? No, he doesn't. He do. He's on. Um, is he on like Rami or something like that? Am I? Is that what I'm thinking of? Was he on? I think I only watched one or two seasons of Rami. Okay, I can't remember. But I thought no, Rami I was. Feel... But Rami was great. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mark Ruffalo was great. I don't yeah. know why he was the hot guy. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. F odd. I but don't know I, why. But that the was whole the thing case. was weird. The whole thing was kind of weird. Yeah. Right. So why not make him the hot guy? I my stuff with. Uh, I really, I really liked Poor Things. I loved the the kind of journey that we went on. I'm so down for a weird thing. Yeah, all that. That's I'm the weird one. I like that kind of thing. You didn't like all the masturbating. No, I I thought that was great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought that was great. Okay. Um, I I, you know, maybe because I want things to be wrapped up too nicely in a neat little bow. Um, I guess this is a spoiler for Poor uh, Poor Things. Yeah. But I was. I felt like when they got back and her husband came back, that was like, we don't need this. We've, I felt like we had the bad guy that Mark Ruffalo had been and he was stupid and fun and he didn't get a bit, he didn't really get an ending. I felt like, and instead they just brought in this new guy who uh, like was scary and like very good. I liked that actor. Um, right. But, you know, and I was like, okay, well, this is, uh, okay, uh, sure, I guess so. Um, and then he gets, like, punished um, and turns into a goat. <laughs> yeah, right. And the other thing is that I was like, and this would have been too, I guess, too nice, nicely wrapped. But I was like, I thought Willem Dafoe should go in his body. Willem Dafoe's brain was, was dying. I thought they should have took it, taken his brain out, put it in the, in the husband's body. And that way everybody gets to live happily ever after. But oh, I think that would have been too. I think that would have been too weird. 
I think you I mean, think so. I, I kind of think so. Why? That would have been too weird because then it's like then why wouldn't she just marry her uh, father? Weird. I don't know. There's something about she would have had then fucked that body in the past. I don't know. That the whole thing is I, weird. I, I understand all. I understand yeah. what you're saying. I agree with you that I wish Mark Ruffalo had a better ending, but I yeah. kind of th- I kind of think that we needed something from the the previous husband. I kind of I was kind of the whole movie I was sort of like, oh, the, uh, we got to see from the husband. That guy's still mucking about. Okay. I I he didn't cross my mind once okay. while watching that movie. And so when he showed up at the end I was like, oh, well, yeah, I guess it makes sense that he'd be here, but I don't care about no, this. No, I kind of wanted to see it. Yeah. I kind of wanted to see it. I was I was I was pleased. Okay, yeah. Pleased. Well, you know, look, and that, see this is how this is how we get along. This huh? is yeah, we, no, you know, I, we have a little conversation. Everything you can do, I can do. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I liked poor things a lot. I liked everybody in it. I yeah. liked every time Willem Dafoe was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a, what a, what an incredibly courageous choice. <laughs> Did you like all that? How about the? <laughs> <laughs> How about when she's a prostitute, right? And they have that creepy guy on the fl- on the floor naked, you know, like fucking crawling around like a like a chimp or something. <laughs> I never felt so represented. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to go next? Um, let's go with um, from Poor Things. You want to do Holdovers or Anatomy of a Fall? Let's or do Maestro? Um, I didn't see Maestro. Um, if you want to talk about American um, fiction or Maestro American or fiction. any of those. Uh, um, we'll do both of them like really those, quick. Because yeah. I, think, I think American fiction was a really fun. Um, I think American fiction was really fun. And I think it was really smart. And yes. I think it was really well written. And I think it was something fresh and different. Yeah. It was something that wasn't afraid to be. It's not, not that it was politically incorrect. But it's sort of about uh, this dude who sort of writes a book, yeah, thinking that it would like sort of insult people when in fact everybody loves it. Yes, and it's about black culture and how. Yeah, he, he kind of it. makes himself sound more black. Exactly. Right? Yeah, and I think course, that's a fun and that gimmick. that book sort of uh, goes crazy. So I, it was. I feel like it was of the films probably the easiest to watch for me. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was like filled with a lot of performances. I think Jeffrey Wright was very, very good. And I think Sterling K. Brown was, was really, really good too. I wasn't kidding when I said he was my, my pick. I thought he was pretty. I think, no, I love Sterling. I certainly should have been, should have won over fucking Robert Downey Jr. I think he, I think he is, I didn't see this movie, but I think every time Sterling K. Brown is on as camera in front of a camera, I think he's having the best time. of He's had, oh, he's so fun. He's so funny. He plays like a gay guy. It's great. Um, yeah, it, it it not a perfect movie at all. Um, I think that the ending was a little bit of a cop out and okay. it was a little too meta for okay. us. But I have a ch- I have a, I have a I have a feeling that you might really enjoy the ending, mm. and that sort of worries me. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. but that's neither here nor there. That's yeah. the quick part of American fiction. Maestro, Maestro, I enjoyed watching. Uh huh. Bradley Cooper is. <laughs> I was aroused watching my. I sure was with that big schnoz. <laughs> Bradley Cooper, fucking amazing. Any other year, yeah, he wins sort of hands down. It's just because you really think so, though. I really kind of think so. I feel like I feel like the American public just can't get behind him. No, I think if this mo- I think if this happened five years ago, I think that there. I think he, Paul Giamatti and Killian Murphy just were like this much better than him. Yeah. And I think plus like the Jewish stuff kind of going on in the world. I'm sorry that I'm not saying it eloquently enough. <clears throat> no, it's but with the prosthetic nose yeah. and everything, I think that sort of cast him aside. And I don't think that's fair. Yeah. I think if you watch that movie you're like, wow, he's really fucking going in. Okay. And I I won't claim to know what's his name. Uh, uh Lenny Bernstein. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Bernstein, Bernstein. Um I, I I didn't really I hadn't watched very many interviews of him before. <laughs> but Bradley Cooper is fucking amazing. <clears throat> yeah. Scripts a little all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Scripts I and I feel like that's hard when you're going through somebody's life. You kind of have to yeah, follow Yeah, you got you got to do that. I it's know people the, wanted it to be more about him being gay or less about him being gay or all that I, stuff. I don't particularly mind that stuff. It's just like <clears> it was like, ah, it was Leonard Bernstein's. Is it Bernstein or Bernstein? It's actually Berenstein. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I. You know. It was about his life, and that's fine. It's just. And it was. A, it was an interesting sort of 
tell all through his thing, but the yeah. main takeaway for that movie. And then, oh, and then I, I Carrie Mulligan yes. is her name. Yeah. I thought she was completely, I thought everybody was forgetting about her. She's fucking amazing in that movie too. Everybody, I thought everybody thought that she was kind of the one to be. She's fucking awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah. She's unbelievable. She's very They're good. They're both, it's a movie of performances. I loved, I loved it's not her a movie. I Burn. There you when go. She, when she walked out. Oh, and, did you watch Salt Burn? No, I missed that oh, one. Oh, okay. Well, she's in Salt Burn for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's got the, she's got the best worst part <laughs> quite like that yeah exactly um, um yeah no i i maybe I, maybe i should check out maestro it's a movie like, of performances yeah it's, it's got plenty of stuff for you to steal it's just as an actor not a writer yeah, yeah yeah i don't know he directed it too didn't he he directed it i think he wrote it too actually yeah not a good look bradley <laughs> hey, bradley you like pokemon hey, bradley what do you think yeah what do you <laughs> <laughs> Maestro, the bells and whistles story. <laughs> it's just called <laughs> his next movie, Whistles. <laughs> he does it, and it's him playing both of us. <laughs> he dresses up, he's got all the prosthetics. It's Bradley Cooper doing it. Doing a fucking Eddie Murphy style <laughs> coming to America. How scary would honestly like you know you think about like it's it's easy for us to watch that and you think wow he really disappeared into that. But imagine if you're like really the guy. Like if we watched yeah. a movie where Bradley Cooper like put on wigs that looked like our hair <laughs> and like prosthetics to make it look yeah. like how just uncanny would that have been? <laughs> Bradley Cooper is what twenty years older than us too, or something. So it's like, why is he doing that? <laughs> why on earth would he do that? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. All right, hold on. Maestro, American Fiction, done. Um, since uh, since you talked about those, I'll talk about past lives. Yes. Since um, uh, you didn't see that one, I I really really was moved by past lives. I Were you really? Yeah, I was. I I I would say. Is it the best film? No, and it didn't. It didn't win the best film, but it did. It was at least f like for me, like maybe behind the holdovers, um, like the one that uh, I feel like affected me the most. Okay. Um, I really, really like the like the kind of concept of it. Is um, she's it starts. The, the movie well, you're starts. a romantic. I'm a romantic is the thing. Yeah. Um, the movie starts and it's the three of them in a bar <clears throat> and you don't hear what they're saying. You just hear two people that are like our per point of view looking at them and saying like what you hear them like, what on earth could that dynamic be? Like they're just oh. like how you do at a bar and you see like, you know, a group of people hanging out. Right. But you see like three people who are kind of very solemnly, quietly talking to one another. And it's two guys and a girl. And you hear people saying, like, what on earth? What do you, like what do you think's going on over there? And you're and they're guessing what okay. the, the relationships are. And then it jumps back in time and you kind of see this woman's relationship with both of these guys okay. un unfurl. And then it and so it's a lot of yeah, the movie is maybe like an hour of stuff that is you kind for me like it's I think it's romantic and fun to watch, but it isn't like the juicy, exciting stuff. OK. And then it gets to it gets to the last half hour where she's married to one guy and talking to the other guy. and The guy has come to visit them. I see. Um, and that's I thought that was like spectacular. OK. <laughs> I thought it was very very cool to kind of see each of these people saying like and like the um, she's married to a white guy and the, the white guy is saying they have this this amazing scene in the with the two of them in bed waiting for hit the her boyfriend her korean boyfriend to not like they're not her boyfriend but this guy that she likes to come over <laughs> and he's like essentially saying he's like i know he's like if you were to write this i'm the bad guy i'm the bad guy because I'm married to you and you shouldn't be married to me. Uh, this this story doesn't feel right, you know. Okay. But I'm in love with you and you're in love with me and we're married. Right. And, you know, there's not really much to, you know, I'm not going to give you up. Like, I, it's too much of my life is built on you. Right. And he's like, and he's like I understand that, like, and I thought it was interesting for him to kind of say it like that. Um, I don't know what you would think. I think you'd maybe like that parts those parts i'll give but it a watch it's a, yeah it's a slow movie 
Okay. And then Zone of Interest, <laughs> neither one of us watched. Let's skip it. Um, we can skip it. We can skip <laughs> we it. Don't you know, we all watch family Zone living next door to Auschwitz. That's the entire movie. Um, sound design. <laughs> <laughs> Very good sound design. There you go. Yeah. Um, you want to do holdovers or you want to do Anatomy of a Fall? Um, uh, well, let's do let's do holdovers and we can buy because I think we both agree on Anatomy of a Fall. Okay. Holdovers for me. Yeah. When you put my two favorite movies ever are School of Rock and Whiplash, right? Yeah. So when you do, so I I I was very quickly taken with parochial school plus you know unsuspecting weird mentor role yeah. mixed with struggling kid mixed with finding yeah. happiness. I yeah. I I, I love that is a movie that has a recipe for me to fall in love with it. Yeah. And I did like the holdovers. I did. I think Paul Giamatti was my pick to win the Oscar. Yeah. I love Paul Giamatti and his performance uh, with all my stupid heart. Yeah. With all my lazy with eyes. All, with, the, with the entirety of our two lazy uh, eyes. I thought Divine, Davine, yeah. Davine. Davine. I thought Davine she was. I thought she was, one, <laughs> I thought she was wonderful. Yeah. I even thought that the, the little boy was great. Yeah. Whatever. And little, I'm sure he's boy. six foot seven. Whatever. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought all of it was great. I just can't get the feeling that A, Whiplash and School of Rock did everything it wanted to do, but better. Yeah. And that it just kept undercutting itself just a fucking little bit with every time. I think it was shot on film. Was it shot on film? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think know if it, it was shot on film or there was like some overlay where you, yeah. get, a, you get a crinkle yeah, a film or whatever. There. It was that. Stacked with the long cross dissolves, stacked with the pacing, stacked with uh, my mom doesn't like me and my dad well, is dead and everybody and nobody you feel likes bad? me. And then it's, but I, and that's fine if you're going to do that. It's just don't let the little, dun, 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 <laughs> the little fucking piano fade We wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was just like a little bit, ugh. And maybe if I watched it during Christmas time, I would have more tolerance for the sap. Yeah. But it had a little too much sap for me. That is interesting. I did watch it over like Christmas time. So it might it might have changed. It had a little bit of sap. It had a yeah. little too much sap for me. Yeah. Um with the it was and it was it was I, I wanna see it if they just took the music out. I, yeah. I really hated the <laughs> piano fading it so much. Um but I did love Paul Giamatti. Very I loved much. Paul Giamatti. Yeah. No, I really I love the holdovers. Holdovers was my favorite. Um it doesn't I don't it's surprising nobody. Um, I really did like that. I loved Davine so much when she yeah. was like, he's gone and she's in the kitchen and she's drunk and she's crying. God, yeah. that she was wonderful. There is, there is no quicker way to break my heart than seeing a drunk person crying. <laughs> That's why me and Amelia get along so well. <laughs> I'm going to tell her you said that. <laughs> I would say she just has to watch the podcast, but she, you know, we won't. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, no, I I think that I thought it was great. I loved Paul Giamatti in it. Um, I liked I liked the kid. Um, a part of me wonders. I, I'm sure you didn't <laughs> you know that. Have done a better job. I, part of me wonders if I could have done a better job. Um, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, uh, part of me wonders what if part of the reason why you didn't like it is because you subconsciously know that that was his first time ever acting. I had no idea that was yeah. the case. The story behind that was that he was a kid at that school that they found. Oh really? Yeah, and that they and that they were like, he's perfect for it. Let's have him do it. Oh, that's really stupid. Yeah, it is, right? I do hate that. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I do really hate that. Yeah, because um, uh, uh, you know uh, we could have done a really good job if they had let us audition. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I come uh, on, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to Boston. <laughs> He's sitting there with his dad who had a lobotomy or whatever. <laughs> Imagine that scene. <laughs> but it's you or me on the other side, and we're like, hmm. come on, dad, remember? Don't you remember? And don't then the piano remember? fades in. Ugh. Don't you remember? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, and I and there was there was part of me that just didn't believe that his parents were actually gonna leave him at school for Christmas, mm-hmm. like that hit. I wanted, I watched. That's I what wish... happens. That's what happens. No, it's not. That's what happens. No, that doesn't happen. I'm sorry that I... you came from a loving home. I huh? guess, I guess, I, I yeah. and I and I'm forever grateful. Uh-huh. But I, there was just part of me that just kept. I, I wish you, I wish you were here for after 15 minutes of watching that movie and you saw him. Like I was so excited. I was like, yeah. oh my god, I love this movie. It's just it kept fucking up its own self it could get out of its own way and for that reason i was like "Eh." for that reason and that reason Reason alone yeah you're out and then anatomy of a fall anatomy of fall is it the last one that we need to talk about? what else do we need to talk about i'm looking i'm looking at the list that i anatomy of a fall anatomy of a fall holder oh killers of the flower moon we forgot to oh we should talk about that you want to do that or anatomy of a fall yeah let's talk let's talk about um killers of the flower moon killers of the flower moon is really fucking cool because it is a scorsese movie starring robert danny jr uh, robert robert danny jr robert starring robert danny jr (laughs) Scorsese, Back, baby. It's a Scorsese movie starring Bob De Niro as a mob boss. Leo DiCaprio is a guy who finds kind his of way. A dummy guy. Huh? Dummy guy who gets spit out into a part of the world that has to learns to fall in love with crime and money and works his way through a system, a mob system of organized crime and mm-hmm. racketeering and so forth. It's the same thing you've always seen. It's three hours and 20 minutes long. Uh, whoever's, except brrr, it's Southern. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it I'm not saying that it's not a great movie it is I'm not saying that people in the, the performances aren't amazing they are I'm not saying that Lily Gladstone wasn't amazing she is I'm just saying it's the same fucking thing but well Southern well, and it's awesome it's, it's awesome great. you should watch it it's just you're gonna watch it and be like wow that was a great movie because it scratched every itch of a mob movie that I wanted to watch and it's a fresh take and Bob De Niro's doing a Southern accent you're gonna say all those things and you're gonna say the same thing that you always say uh-huh. I wish it was 45 minutes shorter yeah and, 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 <laughs> and that's true. it it's, it's a great true. movie it's a great movie well, what do you think of Brendan Fraser in it he's oh look, my god he's looking a little him. he's looking a little scary isn't he I was he? gonna say I, I can't wait for you to see that movie because mm. you're just watching a De Niro Leo yeah. movie right and then at some point Brendan Fraser comes out and he just says I'm Brendan Fraser <laughs> <laughs> and that's it so you're like whoa <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, he's he's, in a, he's a very small part. He's kind of weird. <laughs> I know he looks strange to me. He's still, chunker. he looked weird at the Oscars too. But it's not like he looks chunky. It's like his face looks a little weird. I think it's because he's a little chunky. No, I think I he needs think to go back to George the Jungle. No, I feel like it looks like he's he's Lupus. made out of paper mache or something <laughs> like that. It's carved out of wood. Yeah, like I feel like if I get squirt him with a water gun, he's gonna start folding. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to uh, what, do you, what do you got to say about Anatomy, Anatomy of, of a Fall? Fall? Anatomy of a Fall is, if you probably, if you ask me, I think is probably the best made movie. You think of, so? Of the year, yeah. Okay, I, I, that was my favorite. Of you I know, don't feel as passionately, but I did really enjoy it. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty spectacular. I think it does. Like the last twenty minutes, I agree with you. Feel like. Well, you're just gonna okay i guess you're leaving us with this i've huh? reflected upon my uh-huh. take after watching the movie great movie really fun movie she's amazing in it yeah all the things the blind kid is amazing the dog the dog amazing the fucking in dog it. amazing in it good christ the dog yeah the dog is it a uh, snoop yeah oh my god <laughs> um uh, the the last 20 minutes were i yeah i could have totally done without yeah that's that was my initial reaction after sitting on it for a day they're they're what they're totally doing is that they're they want you to want more resolution yeah and then you're just and then you don't get it yeah i still think that's stupid yeah i understand it's now intentional yeah but still fuck you no i i i felt i felt similarly and i was saying afterwards i'm like maybe this is just like it's a european thing but i was like I was, I was like, man, am I so trained as like an audience member that I have to have something wrapped up in a nice little bow for me? Like, I needed the kid to say that it was That's that he made bullshit. the story up. Did I, did I need, you know, did I need one last reveal? Did I need something? I do. Yeah. Well, I felt. That's why I felt empty a little bit afterwards. But I. Uh, a lot of it really kind of wowed me. I thought that fight that they have over the recording. Yeah. I was like, "Holy shit, that's really good." Um, yeah, that was really this, cool. The scene between her and her uh, her husband. I liked that the mystery was really unclear to me. I I liked that it it felt to me it felt like I was watching a real court case, and I was like, "I'm gonna look up afterwards and see what actually happened." I do. Uh, I, I, I I really admire that. The coolest gimmick was that they're like 
a, a piece of information would be revealed in the court. Somebody would say something, you'd be like, yeah. whoa, whoa, nobody told me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's, I'm like, that's <laughs> amazing. That's, yeah. you'd be, that, which, which is like a genuine feeling. Well, I, you, you, you would hear something and you'd be like, no, some, I should have been aware to that before uh -huh. it was said out loud, uh -huh. which was a really cool thing to feel. You know, I, I thought it was a very good movie. It was a little slow at times for me, and I think that had to do with sort of just like looking at that court for so long yeah no i get you know that. but that's just that's me being a lizard brain i loved guy. the prosecutor i was just about to say the prosecutor i was thought fucking amazing that little that amazing. little that little fucking prick of a yeah, guy i thought that would have that, again another part that would have been perfect for us yeah 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 yeah, yeah. He, but he was so he was so yeah good at being that like that guy that, and you were like man he's he's really starting to convince me yeah that this is that this is he was not a, a weaselly dickhole yeah fucking, yeah no you shut up kind of guy yeah at least, yeah it was it was, it was great. I don't know why that what they were trying to do with the whole romance thing between the main lawyer and her. I don't know um, what that was doing for anybody. I, there was a lot of stuff. They, it, I guess it's a European thing. Yeah. And it's it's it, not only is it a European thing, but it's a European thing versus us who we feel like everything we need to write be like no everybody yeah. no come on fight, come on cut come on. out that the yeah cut. cut out that the. Um, I liked the the romance between him and her because I I felt like it made her it made me question her more. That, okay. that she would be so so quick to jump into something with this guy or kind of flirt with him made me feel like uh, I, you know yeah wait a minute what is her deal like I guess I didn't so. like that like I was like okay, I know fair. that they did it that's to fair. make me judge her in, okay. in, in, a, in a weird way okay okay um, okay so that's what I that's what I liked um, okay. yeah I really liked Anatomy of a Fall it's my favorite yeah um, that and Holdovers and Past Lives and yeah. Poor Things you want my list you want my list that I texted you this is my list in 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 uh, best to worst best to worst let's see Poor it. Things American Fiction Anatomy of a Fall Holdovers Killers of Flower Moon Barbie Maestro Ploppenheimer. That's Ryan you Quigley's even have, list. Yeah, you didn't put Zone of Interest in there. Well, you didn't watch it. I didn't it. watch it. Well, but I was like, you know, just in, if you guessed. If no, you I'm not going to guess. guess. Okay. I don't do that. I don't do that kind of thing. You never take a guess. No. All right. Well, yeah, let's hear your, let's hear your picks at the bottom. Nobody's watching. I know none watching. of you watched this part, but yeah. it's nice for us and it's consistency and we need a routine. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Let's pause really quick. I have to pee and do some work, and then we'll do Pokey Doku quick. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm just kidding. Anywhere else I'd be a Ken. Okay. My name is Ken, and I'm from then. All, All right. right, we're back. We we stopped down for a second. We had to Today stop. Is... We had to calm down a second. We, we were to... getting too heated. We had to towel off. Uh, towel off. Take a cold shower. Take a cold shower. <laughs> but um, we're going back to what your favorite. What are your favorites? We, do, huh? we gotta we're do something little, for the people. A little pokey dokey. We're recording do. now. We're doing <laughs> pokey doku, and pokey we're clicking doku. this. No! Oh. oh, all right. So it's Immaculate Grid for, uh, Pokemon, for Pokemon, as you understand. And it's a master uh, puzzle. They, 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 uh -oh. they give you, oh, not a master puzzle. A game. Oh, no. So what they do this is they give you two good. categories and a three by three thing, and you have to find one that overlaps. Johto, normal type, Jortle. evolved by friendship, flying type. Jortle. You get it. Keep up, keep up. Keep the up, idea is that you want to find the most mysterious. Uh, 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 un unbeknownst, unbeknownst Pokemon. You want to find yes. the rarest choices. You don't want to be a. You don't want to be a dime a dozen. No, you don't. No, you, don't. you never would. So that's what I we're going to do today. So we're going to go through and we're going to do. We're going to do. <laughs> I this, would never. We're going to try and do this rapid style. Okay. All right. So a Johto normal. A Johto. Johto. You have Sentret. You have Furret. Uh huh. You've also got Dunsparce for little old me. Dunsparce for little old um, you. Uh, Teddy Urig. Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa Ring. Ursa Ring. Um. <laughs> Can can we can we dig even deeper? Is there something even more? Uh, um, else? What's what's a, what's a Pokemon that we could say that'll make us feel a little dirty inside? <laughs> I think you could look at Ursa Ring and say that <laughs> uh, Togepi. Togepi. Oh, Togepi Togetic? is good, but is Togepi still? I think Togepi's um, fairy now. No, but it's still. Oh, you. Oh, it's totally fairy. You're it's right. It's just totally fairy Those now. Bastards. That should that should you. that should be the one. Uh -huh. That should be the one Pokey Doki, you fucking bastard. Um you want to do one, Porygon, one, Porygon two. two. Porygon two. Uh-huh. Porygon two. Porygon two. Is there what's the normal flying hoot hoot? Hoot hoot, yeah. Noctowl. Noctowl. Those are also good. People might think that Noctowl is psychic. I don't think anyone's gonna think Noctowl is psychic. Ooh. I don't know. Uh, uh Porygon two feels good to me. I like is Don Ursa Fan? Ring. Don Fan is is, is just Fanfy? ground, just ground. Fanfy's just ground. Yeah, just ground. Um, I feel like, what's, what? Think later in the Pokedex for me. Just get, get, think later in the Pokedex. 
Um, there's not there. I feel like there aren't that many Pokemon in that generation. Yeah, maybe you're right. There's, um, maybe you're right. Is Girafferig the answer? Girafferig might be. But the I one. mean, Ferrigaraff is in the Zeitgeist. I don't know how in the Zeitgeist it is. Yeah. And also, I I'd say put Girafferig. You want to do Girafferig? Uh huh. All right. Because it's, it's also in like the Safari Zone. You know, nobody. Even... All right. If it's but if understand. Uh huh. If we if, fail. If, you yeah. can point the finger at me. I'll kill myself. Yeah. For sure! 5.1. That's pretty beefy. I think that's pretty strong. That is strong. That is strong. I can't help but think that there might be a 2, maybe a 3%. There 3%. might be a 2. There might be a 2. Normal you want to start over? <laughs> <laughs> Normal poison. Okay, so let's dig deep uh-huh. for this one. Dig deep. So we have Shrudel and we have... and there's Doodle. <laughs> <laughs> there's Grafai Eye as well. Grafai Eye, yes. Right. Shrudel and Grafai Eye. I think those are the only two. But there's part of me that thinks that there might be a third. What could it be? I'm digging, and I'm digging deeply. <laughs> what could, <laughs> how, how bizarre we are. We're, we're, we're like, wow, what could it be, you think? Oh, is there I one? I feel like Shredel and Grafii were the only two. I think there's something silly, though. I think there's something. What? Fuck. I don't know. I think we should say Shrudel, but I think I. I, I feel like I'm gonna be. Pit. I feel like we're gonna get around here. And yeah. I'm gonna say, oh, <laughs> there's that one. All right. So let's say Shrudel. Just to, can we can we skip it? Skip it. All right. So but we're it's gonna, gonna say be Shrudel. We're I'm gonna telling say you it's Shrudel. Okay. Evolved by, by friendship. friendship normal. normal. So this is fun. Um. Now this could be. Does it have to be? It doesn't have to be the final evolution because that could be. Um. What? A uh, Ursaring. What? <laughs> Ursa Ring is evolved by um, friendship. Ursa, Ursa Ring is evolved by friendship. Yes. Can I throw you something that I'm not 100% sure about? Okay. You're going to make me nervous, though. Arboliva. Arboliva. That's it, it, Smoliv. Yes. Dolive. Dolive. And then Dolive to Arboliva. I don't think that's friendship. I think it might be friendship. I, don't, I, don't, I think we're too pussy to say Arboliva. I think There's we're too, no way. I think we're too pussy. I just I don't, we, we shouldn't say. It. But I'm saying I I think that might be the one. We're not gonna put it. We're too. We're, I'm I'm I such would, a I would, fucking. I would I'm such quiver. A, I'm I such would be an so incel. scared. But that yeah. is that's the thing that just went <laughs> in my body. I feel like it's like a grass stone or something. I don't think that's the case. Okay. Um. Do you so, want to do Snorlax? Everyone's gonna do. Snorlax is the king. Ursa Ring. Ursa Ring, um, I think, is evolved by friendship. Think. Um, think, think, think. Uh, uh, La Punny. Are you going to do La Punny? Yeah, we can do La Punny. I say we do La Punny. La Punny. This is evolved by. Yes, this is the last one. La Punny. Yes. Sure. 25. 25. Not great. Not great I, but all. I just don't know. I just don't know how many there are. I just <laughs> I think there's a lot. I just can't imagine there are that I think there's probably a lot. I think there's probably a good amount. A Johto flying. Now, this is fun. A Johto flying. This is something that's a little... I'm not very excited about, but, uh, you know. Well, you know my boy Murkrow. (laughs) There is Murkrow. There is a Murkrow, but I think we can go even deeper. There's... Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot. Um, Noctowl. Noctowl. There's... I mean, like, you can go, like, like... I feel like people might forget Lugia. Lugia. Ho Ho. Might I... Might I suggest... Gligar. Gligar. Uh-huh. Gligar is a forgotten one. Uh-huh. <laughs> How about this? Can I say can I say something? Yeah. It might knock say your, something. It might say, knock your ahead. socks off. We can censor it if need be. <laughs> Mantine. Mantine. Ooh. But Ooh. I th- I think you go Ooh. I think you go Gligar. Yeah. I think you go Gligar or maybe I mean this could be Togetic. Crobat. Togetic. Togetic. Crobat. Crobat. Crobat's a good one. Crobat. Togetic. Damn good one. Hmm. Oh, so many options. How about Natu Zatu? Natu Zatu. What are you feeling? What is your gut telling I think, you? What do you feel in I your think, loins? I think Gligar or Natu Zatu. I think we do Gligar. Uh huh. We're doing Gligar. Gligar. Come on, give me Gligar or give sure. me freedom. Yes. Three percent. You got to take that ten times out of ten. Boom. You got to take that ten Boom. times out of ten. Poison flying. Poison so here's flying. where here's, here's where, where we have points. yeah. Crobat, Zubat, uh, Dubat, and, and Lubat. Yeah, and Poobat. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What are the other options here? I don't know how many other flying poisons there are. Flying and poison. Poison and flying, think. 
<laughs> oh, when you say it like that, of course. Flying and poison, poison and flying. Okay. Okay. Um, I think you could do maybe the the run is Zubat. But is it, I think that there's Zoo, be Zoo, be Zoo, be Zoo. There's got to be one poison, poison, poison. Poison. I don't know how many flying poisons there are. I, th- I I mean, it seems like one that would be pretty afflu like you know, all over the place. Yeah, I guess we have to say Zubat. I guess we have to say Zubat. Yeah, unless you want to do Crewbat. Shut up. No, Gold we'll do Zubat. Bat. Zubat. Golduck. I feel like this is the wrong answer, but it's going to be what it's going to be. 25%. Not great at all. Evolved by friendship flying. So this crow is bat. a crowbat. This is crowbat. Oh, but this is also swoobat. 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 This is also swoobat. Um, I think there's... Surely, uh, surely there's another one. Yeah. Is yeah. there... Um, was there? Were there any flying babies? Do any of the babies fly? I mean, to- Togetic. You want to do Togetic? You want to do Togetic? Yeah. It's evolved by friendship. And it's flying. All right, fuck it. Or you could do Swoobat. Do Swoobat. Swoobat. People, nobody says Swoobat anymore. Nobody ever talks about that one. We mentioned one of our viral videos. (laughs) (laughs) I think we'll be A-OK. All right, we're doing Swoobat, and we're sure. 21, not great. Not great at all. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, if we get through this, this will be like the second time that we've ever actually completed (laughs) one. Shut up. Okay. Final evolution from Johto. Now, what's stopping us from just saying Meganium? What's you know what's stopping us from just giving the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, hear 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 me now. Listen to me later. Okay, sure. All right. <laughs> Hot dog. Why can't why can't we say knock towel? Why can't we say octillery? Why can't we say? <laughs> Am I telling you you can't? <laughs> why? <laughs> octillery is I good. Mean, People think that Octillery doesn't evolve from Remoraid, but it does. But I mean, like, can we, can, is, is this pulling a trick? Okay. If we say Mantine here, um, is this pulling a trick? It's not pulling a trick. Mantine is a final evolution from Johto. We just don't, people people don't associate it because it got its one before. Right. But you are correct. Yeah, I know. Do you want to try and pull that trick? You want I, don't, to tr- I don't know. You, we, could, you, we, could, you, we could do, do it. Let's do it. Let's be brave. I, huh? is, but is Pseudo Wudo even deeper? No, no, no. I don't you don't think so? I but the same, the same rule applies. People think about pseudo wudo constantly. Okay, nobody's thinking about mantine. Okay, okay. So you want to do that? I think we should do mantine. If this is wrong, this could be big for us. <laughs> <laughs> this could be, this could be big trouble. No, it's not. It's not. All big right, trouble. mantine, and Man- we're sure. One point three. Wow. <laughs> Golly! Watch, th- this is gonna be middle That's of the, the, the biggest one. That's a-, <laughs> a poison final evolution, you say. So we have the Nido. How about Nido Queen? Nido Queen. For, because no, we missed International Women's Day. It is oh. too popular. It's too popular. Okay, well, it is International Women's Day though, so maybe we should do. Toxic there, well, I mean, Rogue. but there's all there's. <laughs> how about like a a Scraggy? Scrafty, uh, Scrafty, Scrafty, right? Scrafty's not poison. Oh, that's because I meant Toxicroak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well in that case yeah of course um you know riddle me this i'm listening <laughs> naganadel wow uh-huh. okay wow sure because it evolves from poi pole okay but i'm feeling it maybe there's something even something even something more even, something even worse yeah. yeah um what about I'm, okay i'm um, thinking like surely sn- one of the bugs well can, the I, can bugs. i can i can i throw you perhaps a sneezler a sneezler you know what? Sneezler might be the move. Sneezler? Sneezler can could be agree? the move. I can, look, we can all we can put our biases aside <laughs> for sneezle. All right, we're going to go with Sneezler. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> sneezler and go we're in! sure. 1.2. 1. 1. Can you believe that you doubted me even for a I'm second? I'm telling you Naganadel is going to be 1.1. 1. 1. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Evolved by friendship and a final evolution. This is problematic. This is scary. Can I tell you why? This is why. I because we just one. used Lop Pony. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so here's Crobat. Here's... Here's Swoobat. Oh. Oh. Oh? Lee Vanny. Remember, we've been done wrong before. Were we... Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Put it down. Do you believe in me? I do. Should we put Shrudel first and let this be the last one? Yeah, put Shrudel first. All right, so we'll do Shrudel. Come on. I feel like there's... I feel. I Shrudel. want everybody to know that I think there's one more. It's going to be 49%. And I'm sure. 47. I told you. But there's going to be one that's 2%. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Final evolution. All right, Lee Vanny, come on, please, please. It's the first time we're gonna uh, do it. Be our first I'm selecting puzzle. it. And come we're on. sure. Oh, oh yeah! yeah! <laughs> what a stupid fucking YouTube channel, right? Oh no! All right, let's see what we did. Let's see what All we right, did. Come game on. Stats. We have a unique score of one thirty-eight. It oh, that's the worst watch. One fifteen. That's uh -huh. that's the closest. We've that's been. a pretty. That's pretty good. All right, Lee's Lee Common. Vanny. Porygon 2, you were right all along. I and here you. we are all the way down at the bottom of the list. I told you. I bottom told you. Bottom of the barrel. Where are we? Blissey, that's a good one. Apom, we put, yeah, we're already down here. I told you. Giraffe Terrible. Reed. Shrudel. Shrudel. Okay, that's good. So, so there wasn't one the whole just, time. <laughs> the whole time, I'm telling you, it was just... Sil Valley. Sil Valley. Oh, wow. wow. Sil Wowie. Sil Wowie and La Punny all the way down here. Jigglypuff. What the fuck? Jigglypuff. That's oh, I wasn't beefy. Even thinking. I uh, Deli Bird, thinking. Flying Joe, to, shit, Deli Bird. That's what I was trying to think. I was saying, think, Deli, think, Bird. Down Deli Bird, Deli Bird, Hop Dip and yeah. Jump Pluff. Toga Tick was up here. Could have been better. What Glygar, Glygar's Glygar, Glygar's down here. But Mantine, you see, they, they, it wasn't a trick at all. It wasn't a trick at all. We should have done. But it, it was a wash. Yeah, no, it this is wash. embarrassing. This is uh, embarrassing. Zubat was the correct answer. Zubat, boom, nailed it. And you're right. There's no other ones I, yeah. for, for this one. And then Slubat. Slubat was good for us, too. Bingo, dingo, bingo. Uh-huh. Quagsire, huh? Final Evolution, Johto. Johto. Where were we in the list? Far, far, far away. Far, far. No, we got one. We were in one point something. Oh. There we are. Mantine. Yeah, okay. way down Not here. so bad. Not bad at all. Not so bad at not all. Not bad at all. Okay. Not great, but not, not bad. Well, and then here's Amungus Final, Final oh, Evolution. That's, that's, that would have been the one. What, a Moongus? Yeah. No. Where are we? We're down here. Who's Good, again, hell? good not great. Nog, Noggin. No. You're right. You were right to not use that one. Look. Look, I can scroll right down there. here. Four You're points. right. I'm so sorry. Totally, I almost stred us that would, that would have let totally us stray. Ruined us. Stred us and then Subat was the one down here. Uh -huh, as well. There wasn't anything we could do. No, there Persian. wasn't much to whoa, do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alolan Persian. Yeah, that's, that's something to keep in the noggin. That's huh? shocking. Frostmoth is evolved by friendship? Ooh. How terrible is that? Chimeco. Chimeco. Would I thought been. I was so smart. You really had me there. And you look, had me Lapani convinced. had it beat. That's terrible. Ooh. Well, just All another right. case against us. Stopping yeah. recording now. <laughs> Hey, if you made it this far in the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're listening on any of the audio apps, please leave a five-star review. If you don't leave a five-star, leave a four-star. If you don't leave a four-star... I've been trying to have this conversation with you every yeah. single week, and it's yeah. just, it's not productive or good for anybody involved. No, so, what no. you do instead is you leave a comment down below. I respond to every single comment, um, okay? And you turn that notification bell on because mm -hmm. it's good for you. Mm -hmm. It's good for uh, your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And it's just nice. It's how we get our, our conversation going. But if you want to say, hey, man, fuck all that. We just want to give you money. What do they do? You go to Teespring. It's still Teespring. You better come on over here. You get yourself a shirt. You're going to get yourself some shoes. Yep. We're going to get yourself some Serve. <laughs> oh God. <Good. laughs> no, you can support us financially over there. It helps us um, pay Neil. It helps us keep the lights on. You can get yourself all sorts of fun little designs. Philanthropist is our most is our most popular one. <laughs> <laughs> dare you say such a thing? How dare you say it's our most popular? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're almost sold out, guys. So get them while you can. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like limited time cakes. only. Um. Uh, yeah, and nobody wants to get farted anymore. That was my favorite joke ever, but I guess nobody else liked it. Nobody wants to. Yeah. It's sad. That's really it's sad. sad. Maybe one day we'll get some Maybe more. someday. I don't know when I'm going live, but I will be going live this week. I don't know if it's going to be Wednesday or Thursday. I promise you. I'll okay. be there, um, I, and I will let you know when I'm going live. So don't don't yeah. don't, don't, don't fret. Yeah. Don't fret. You're There's waiting no to find out when the Knicks are going to play. Uh, I surely know that already. It's uh -huh. just I got to figure out how my week shakes out. Okay. Um, you got anything else to say? I got nothing else to say. All right, guys. See you next week. Bye. See ya. I, I'm not sure if I should do something about this terrible stain that's on my shirt. Do you want to tie a tie? Yeah, I can tie a tie. This isn't really pink. It's more. How dare you say that's not fake? Don't gaslight me.